Optimus G Pro. Um, what I'll do is I'll move, I'll move the handset away so you can see the specification sheet. So it's a 5.5 inch full HD device with a 400 PPI. So it's 1920 times 1080. So it's full HD resolution. It's quad core, so it's four times 1.7 gig cores, and it's made by Qualcomm. It has a 13 megapixel camera on the rear and a 2.1 on the front. So it, it enables you to do full HD from the front camera as well. It has a large 3140 removable battery. And then obviously I'll go through some of the features that are on the device. What is the price? The, the price hasn't been set at the moment. It depends on the local market. You'd have to speak to the person that covers your, your particular area or territory. Is, uh, is it available? Uh, is it available? Uh, so I don't understand. Is, uh, it's possible to buy... Uh, the not, not, not at the moment. So it's, it's for a Q1 launch in Asian markets, so Korea, Japan, and then it's going to be in selected markets after that for Q1 and Q2. What is the difference with the, uh, the competitor? So the, 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 a lot of the differences are, are based on the UI, the interface of what we have on our device. Oh. So yes, we have the S4 Pro chipset, which is at the moment one of the leading chipsets on the market. So okay. it's extremely fast, but also it has the Optimus overlay as well. So the, the sort of things that you'll be able to do on this device and new features have been brought to this device first because it's the flagship device in the market, yeah? Okay. Okay, so we're here over on the G stand. So we're looking at the Optimus, LG Optimus G. So again, I'll go through the main features. It's running on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. But this one has, a, a, again, a, four, a Qualcomm chipset in but this one is for 1.5 gig cores. So it's a little bit slower than G Pro. It has two gig of RAM, but this one only has a 2100 milliamp battery, but it's non-removable, where on G Pro it is removable. This one has a 4.7 inch uh, true IPS LCD screen, but the resolution is 1280 by 768. So you can see it's not fully HD like G Pro, but gain, it still has the, a very sharp screen. It has a 32 gig internal, and the same as G Pro, this one has the zero gap touch technology. So what it says here, this is kind of explains what zero gap touch means. So anyone who uses a conventional touch screen will have a gap and then some films and then the outer window, but the LCD sits below it. On the zero gap touch, all that is removed, and now the LCD sits right underneath the screen. So the benefit of that to the customer is shoot super sharp images, clear and crisp, and you'll be able to, it's very, very sharp. So again, looking at the display, you'll see that there's a massive difference, especially when you look at pictures and videos from the same different screens.